Well, here we are again for another short update at Johnston Grokey, Richard Allen, Andrew Brown. Uh, just started the Sheffield Shield season. We've yep. got away with a draw, which yep. is good. So all up for here for South Australia. Um, one thing I thought I'd bring to you uh, this week is a little bit about the changes to insolvency. As you know, uh, with COVID, there's been extension to insolvency protection for businesses. So I started thinking about what that means for asset protection and extending that further into protecting assets, the family assets. And that key means things like estate planning. And people don't think about things like that during these times because they're distracted on other uh, things like job keeper and keeping their business going, opportunities for investment. But it does actually impact to changes to, to families. So what we're suggesting is that people perhaps even think about their estate planning, have a talk to us, what that means in risk and how you protect assets in times of volatility and change uh, like this. Uh, Richard, anything that yeah, you want to mention? And then one, with that, we, then we can drill down further and look at things like bloodline planning through trusts and testamentary trusts and how you can really set yeah. up estates for, you know, when you're not here, eventually all of us aren't going to be here, but we want to make sure that the assets that we've worked so hard to build up and our clients have worked so hard to build up over the years end up in the, the best in the right way, hands. in the right hands and the, right hands. the best tax position and yeah, the, the, the right people get it mainly, yeah. It's not a short term thing, sometimes it takes a little bit of planning, but usually it's, it's worth it and we're, we're pretty systematised in our approach, so we get really good out outcomes yeah. and results. Um, yeah. What else is happening in the world of, uh, the world oh, of accounting and finance? At the Richard? moment, I think it's just rushing to get everything done before Christmas. I mean, it's only six or seven weeks away now and pressure from banks and clients wanting to know exactly where they are so they've got to work out their refunds for their Christmas shopping and all the rest of it. And, and I think there's a bit of hunkering down before JobKeeper finishes in March of next year. It was I noticed the other day it was interesting to see that with Australia's back to some of the highest savings rates that we've had in a long time. So Australians are saving... It might feed through the retail yeah. sector, we don't know. Yeah. Um, but certainly there's, there's a lot of um, focus at the moment just on, on keeping, uh, keeping the house safe yeah. at the moment and getting cash flow up and uh, looking at people looking at their financing in the refinancing with, with the RBA announcing the um, new cash rate position. We're expecting interest rates being lower longer. Yep. Which is obviously good for borrowing, but the opportunity's got to be out there. Yeah. So that's mindful about keeping an eye out for those yeah, things. Yep. Yeah. And keep an eye out on the residential prices. We've seen actually solid growth in South Australia. It's been quite amazing. The prices in some areas have gone up four to six percent, which is. Um, doesn't really go with what's happening in the rest of the world with COVID, but um, we seem to be quite sheltered here in South Australia and keeping an eye on what's happening in Victoria and how that's affecting trade with Victoria and house prices in Victoria and that type of thing too. So it's interesting times Interesting out there. times. So if anything changes, uh, reach out, touch base with us. There's always things on the move and uh, we'd like to hear from you. Have a great day. Cheers.